Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Happy Sunday to you guys. Sunday fun day. I'm going to a Walmart I normally do not shop at, but I kind of wanted just to go to this one because it's bigger than all the others. It's newer and they also have an added on grocery um, part of it that the other local Walmarts do not have. So, and plus it's Sunday, it's great for a nice little drive and have you guys come along with me. Yesterday I did not vlog, I did not bust out with the camera at all. Mm -mm. I just kind of chilled and did my own thing yesterday. My mom ended up taking us out for pizza for a very, very early dinner last night and of course we had fun. I need to get some supplies for my mom and then I kind of wanted to take a peek and see what kind of storage containers and I still need to get, ooh, ooh, sorry, still need to get a rug for underneath our kitchen table and I'm talking like this. I don't know what's up with my hand gestures. I'm a person who likes to talk with their hands a lot so forgive me. <laughs> and then also I want to get some fresh vegetables for tonight's dinner. Jay has had some steaks marinating. And then I just want to kind of lollygag and see see what Walmart has. <laughs> My crock pot chicken mushroom gravy is looking good and I'm following my meal plan we are on Tuesday and then tomorrow's also gonna be another crock pot day so hope you guys checked out my meal planning video and these came in yesterday these are the cereal dispenser I really like these because these are really tall and they'll fit perfect in my pantry for our cereal and these are I think they're about well, let me let me see how tall they are. But I got these at Amazon. 11 inches tall. So that will work. Laundry's done. Since I mopped my floors yesterday, I just have the bathroom, the one little rug just tossed in the duster thing. Wait for it. Wait for it. So hey friends, it is Tuesday afternoon. I have my crock pot with the chicken and the mushroom gravy. Kitty is right here. I swear, she knows it. She's such a vlog ham. Jay was not feeling good. He's catching a cold, so I'm a little worried about him. So, And I'm also like wiping everything down with Lysol wipes. <laughs> I just I can't get mom or myself sick I started to feel a little bit like not so good so I took a Tylenol just in case and mom is taking a nap right now and I'm thinking I might go outside in the backyard to continue to trim that lemon tree because tomorrow is garbage day since this is probably like my only break in the rain I might as well just take advantage of doing that so I think that's what I'm, what I'm gonna do today yeah Okay, got the baby monitor to listen to my mom, and she is like really out. How funny. Gardener came in today in the backyard just to mow the lawn. I just only have him mow the lawn for me. So I'm not liking these things here, so I'm going to see how much I can get trimmed off. You guys, this is like a serious workout. I'm like totally perspiring. Puffing hard. Look at that. Now you just have to attack those way up there. Let me go ahead and clean all this up and see how much I got in my bin. I think. <laughs> I think this might just have to do for today. <laughs> Some of my neighbors were all passing by. It was funny. Um, but yeah, girl power. Hey, look at that I made some progress with that tree so proud of myself I only just have that ones in the center and the top and I just have to shape it up a little bit here's a collapsible laundry basket na 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 na
$7.99. That'll work for me. It is a Wednesday afternoon. I just came back from Costco, dropped off mom's hot dog and um, my bananas and avocados and stuff like that. And then now I am heading over to Bath and Body Works. It started to rain as soon as I came out of Costco. I was like, no. We had two more earthquakes last night. It was so strange because, I don't know, something was telling me to really pull up my mom's bed rails even higher than I normally have them when I go to sleep. But because we had the earthquake earlier in Alaska and then we had a tsunami warning here on our California beaches, I went upstairs. I laid down and I was getting all comfortable in my bed and all of a sudden my dresser mirror starts to rattle and then everything just started shaking in the house. So I was like, oh my God, here we go, another earthquake. Uh, so yesterday it was kind of hard to go back to sleep after that. It was a real small one. It was more south of California, but there has just been a lot of earthquake activity and you know, people are saying we're going to have the big one next, we're next, we're next. So, you know, the, it, it's just better just to be prepared. You know, I have tons of batteries. We got make sure I always have extra water, candles. Um, you know, I, sometimes when I look at other people's pantry, I feel mine is like so loaded with so much food. But you got to understand, I live in earthquake country and I like to be prepared just in case. You know, because I have to think about my mom's health and everything. So I got to make sure, like, we have plenty of medication on hand for her, just in case. Even for myself. So water, food, canned food, all those kind of things, you know. Especially lately. Especially, you know, we're having all these little earthquakes now recently is just, like, making sure that everyone's prepared. You know what I mean? So I am completely out of soap my foam soap. I love Bath and Body Works foam soap. So I need to pick up some. I think they're having like six for $25. Or if there's one of your favorite soap scents, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, you know, I just recently started to buy Bath and Body Works again. I've taken um, a break from buying anything from there for over oh I don't know it's been over six or seven years so last year was my first time going back into the store and actually buying some was because of that three wick candle sale and then it just got me hooked but I must say I'm really impressed with the foam soap if you haven't tried that I totally recommend for you to try it The drizzle has now come to a rain as you guys saw I need to invest in some rain boots like seriously so I just came back from Bath and Body Works I got six foam soaps which I'll share with you guys in a little bit but I was really trying to test out some of the wallflowers I have never purchased any of those and I was talking to the store manager and unfortunately she was all by herself so she had to deal with all of the customers and in between she was trying to sort of help me and they didn't have testers out for me to actually take a sniff at and see if I like it or not and some of the candles were out some of them weren't so I just don't have time so I have to get back to mom right now I bought myself a cup of coffee though, so I'm going to enjoy that on my nice drive home in this rain. I think I have everything for tonight. My crock pot is going with my pinto beans today, so the house is smelling amazing again. <laughs> so I'm doing pretty good. I'm still sticking to that meal plan. Okay, at Costco I got the five pound bag of the ruby and gold potatoes. I love these potatoes and I'm going to use those for the pot roast. I also got the six count of avocados. These were for $7.99. 
I couldn't believe I found this one here, but this is the Kinders. This is the Tequila Lime Rub. Oh my goodness, this is like my favorite rub for chicken. If you haven't tried it and you see this, you should pick this up. It's $7.99 at Costco, so I grabbed one of those. Bag of bananas. Couldn't believe they're only $1.39 for all of these bananas. So I got that one on my way out. These kind of caught my eye. These were $12.99 for an eight pack. These are the Lint Free Flat Woven Front Absorbent Terry Back Machine Washable. And they have all different types of styles, colors. So I figure I'm going to try these since they are Lint Free. Some cashew nuts. These are expensive. These were actually $18.99. And then last thing I got was this big old thing of cascade complete packs and there are 90 in here these were actually 15.99 but then they had a four dollar off costco coupon making these only 11.99 i was really lucky because their optical department had my contacts so i picked up two boxes from them lastly i stopped at the mall at bath and body works to pick up some more hand soap because i am completely out warm vanilla sugar with coconut oil this smells so good i really like this one to have in our downstairs guest bathroom the beautiful day i love having this one in our master bathroom this is their new scent this is the watermelon lemonade gentle foaming hand soap with avocado oil smells delicious then i spotted this one here oh this smells so good this is called first bloom it's a gentle foaming hand soap with white tea and ginseng extracts oh my goodness smells so good if you really like floral this just smells so pretty and last scent is their cognac and cream actually this was a pleasant surprise oh my goodness if you see this one in the store you must pick it up just to smell it it smells actually really good and on my way out i picked this up for jay this is just an antibacterial sanitizer i just thought i'd kind of switch it up a little bit for him so i'm unboxing my rubbermaid the 36 piece storage look at this i only got it for six dollars and I just took it out and I just think these are just perfect. Look at these little size. They'd be great for putting mom's peanuts in or even, you know, just like little snacks like almonds, peanuts. And they gave you three of the large size of these. Look at that. That's a pretty good size. Next size is this one here. Oh, this is perfect. I like this. It's a great size. Be great for meal prepping. I'm really going to try to use these now. And this is kind of like a smaller size. This would be perfect for like if you put grapes or blueberries, strawberries in here for like snacks during the day. I'm really liking the teal color too. I wasn't so much into the teal color, but I'm starting to dig it now. And then last thing that they threw in here was a small Rubbermaid Brilliance line. Look how small that is. I've been I'm really keeping an eye on these. I just like how nice and simple and sleek these are. And look, they even tossed in a coupon there. I'm really satisfied with that Walmart clearance line on that Rubbermaid 36 piece set. So now I just have to wash it all, which is a pain. I, that's the only thing I don't like about having the plastic containers is that they say it's dishwasher safe, but yet they don't dry well. I mean, am I the only one that thinks that? I mean, it just doesn't dry in a dishwasher. So and I just hate doing it by by towel. So I just might do everything just by hand. I mean, why not? But I do have to unload the dishwasher and start on my mom's laundry and then start on her morning routine today. It's about to rain too, so I need to go outside and grab all the garbage bins, all that good stuff. And I'm kind of playing around on Instagram today. I don't know, I'm kind of in an Instagram mood. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's just a little rainy. No big deal. <laughs> It's coming down now and we got hail you guys it's like sunny but it's raining I'm just kidding just thought I'd throw on my sunglasses This part. 
part right here, Mom. Look at her pipe cleaner, Mom. <laughs> some other stuff to help him out. Poor guy, man. Uh, I don't even know. Or we're gonna have our date night tomorrow night to go out. We'll see. Well, we will see. And I also wanted to go to the grocery store and get some tortilla chips because if you saw my Costco haul, I have all those avocados and some of them are pretty uh, soft and mushy. So I think I'm gonna make some guacamole for mom and I just to kind of snack on right now because we had such a late breakfast and it's been just kind of like one of those I don't know it's been one of those really slow just lazy day and I'm not feeling all that great myself today when I woke up I had a headache and just like blah you know but it's not like it can take a day off you know I mean it's almost like I'm like a mom 
you know, when you have your kids and even if you're not feeling all that great up to, it's not like you can say, I'm going to sleep the rest of the day away and, um, you know, fend for yourself. I can't do that with my mom. I have been drinking a lot of fluids. My water intake is like, bam. I tried to read my book, but by the time I went on my third page, I always start getting my headache again, and so I was just closing my eyes and just trying to chill for a while, <clears throat> listening to my mom. We had the easy listening music on for her. It's kind of like smooth jazz kind of deal. So I'm kind of letting her relax right now. She's gonna try to take a nap. God, that sun is just like, I'm gonna have to talk to you guys like this. <laughs> but um, anyway, so she's gonna try to take a nap while I run this one errand. And Jay is downstairs, and I think he's just going to relax a little bit since he couldn't really sleep that much. So, I'm thinking he's going to go out. Oh, I see Ellie. Let's go say hi. Ellie. <laughs> Look at you. Okay, just came back from CVS. <laughs> Wasn't Ellie the cutest? Oh, my God. I swear she has my heart. When she saw me, she was running to me in her cute, adorable little purse. Anyways, that's my next door family. So I told Ellie that she can come over to see Queen G um, yesterday. And so today she remembered. So we're just waiting for my mom to wake up from her nap. And then that way they can come over and just visit with Queen G and I. So, um, so anyways, so let's start going home. It smells amazing, and I will see you in the next one. Remember to take care of yourself. 